Hello my friends, so today I'm going to share with you two different techniques of sewing welt. So this can be for furniture, this can be for automotive, aircraft, whatever, then any seat that or cushion that uses welt. So the, I guess the best way I can explain it is uh, sometimes people they will sew so tight right here that when they're finished with their upholstery job they that you can see you can still see that that thread right there is visible okay and we don't really want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way of bringing the thread way out so that way when you sew your all your panels together you'll never see that thread again ever I promise if you do it right so Stick with me here just for the next few minutes and let's get it done. To, to make weld, you'll cut about one and a quarter, one and a half inch strip like this. And then you use your weld cord with something like this. I'm going to show you two ways of making weld. Different methods. So you're going to want a machine that has a weld foot right here. There's a channel underneath there that guides this weld along. So once you have in a, your machine with your weld foot, the first method is to just go ahead and start sewing so what I do is I hold with my left hand I hold the welt and the vinyl here together with the wet with the left hand with the right hand I hold the, the, the top flap down and guide it into the welt foot so my hand is an extrusion so I can guide it through. So you just let it do its thing. So you do the best you can to fold it in half like this. So that way both sides are even. It's not crucial if, they're, if it's not. But that there is the first method right there. By holding your hands in place, you can just kind of guide it and it'll feed itself through. So with the first method, what it does is it gives you a real nice tight uh, bulb right there uh, because the sewing, the sewing is so close to it. The problem now with this kind of welt is when you put all your pieces together, if you don't sew it tight enough when you're putting all your panels together along with your welt, you, sometimes you'll see that thread right there and I see that a lot uh, when I see ah, I hate to say it but other people's upholstery um, I see where that thread is exposed so now I'm going to show you technique number 432 so technique number 432 is a different way of sewing welt a different way of sewing welt to get a different outcome is to start your welt <clears throat> now what you're going to do instead of just feeding it through like you did earlier like you could probably do it in your sleep 
because you're not really paying attention. This one you have to pay attention, it takes a little bit more work. But what you're going to do is you're going to move the material to the left a little bit. So that way it doesn't sew it so tight. You want it to sew it a little loose. A little loose and a little baggy. So now the difference is between the two, you can see that one is very tight and the other one is loose. So now when you go to join the panels together, your new stitch your new stitch is going to be up in this area right here which means that this thread this uh, thread right here that you can see is going to be buried a lot so right there where the tip is that's where it's going to be sewn on the new one and uh, that way you never see that thread so that's a technique that I have that obviously I guess some people don't have because I can see a poultry job sometimes where you can see this thread um, even though the poultry is finished and you have panels on either side and you can still see that thread. So anyway, there we go. I made this mock-up here to show you the two different examples. So here on this left side right here, what I did is I did my method of the loose method so when I sew the pieces together it looks pretty nice on both sides right you don't see any kind of a thread looks like it's what it's supposed to but then as I start moving along here this half I did the tight method and look at the result you can actually see the thread there that was first sewn onto the welt when we were making the welt and I have seen upholstery, finished upholstery jobs that look just like this, where they didn't check their work. I don't know if they didn't check their work, but anyway, this is a call out there to you upholstery people. Um, check your work, because if you end up with something like that, which I have seen, uh, people will talk. You won't know, you'll never know that they're talking about you, but they're out there. So don't do that. Okay, my friends. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope you will like this video. And I hope you'll subscribe to my new channel and help me grow. I do something like this different every day. So sharing my techniques uh, that I've learned over the past 41 years, you know, techniques are something that you're not born with it's something that you learn with over time usually if you have a technique that means that you've made some mistake along the way so do go ahead and uh, feel free to comment if you would like and until the next time we'll see ya testing testing